put no motherfucker. Because Open Kylan is not only based on Ubuntu, but the desktop uses the QT toolkit and KDE stuff in some extent, like the KWin compositor. The installer and the whole system actually at the moment comes in two languages, and the full process is like four clicks to complete. After installation, our default avatar is a dragon, and from the login screen, we can choose either a Wayland or a X session. Or shutdown, maybe? Inside. And that's the UK UI if you don't know already. We have icons on desktop, a desktop menu, a single panel at the bottom, and a launch menu that has favorites and recent, that can also expand to full screen. Perhaps we can't group alphabetically, but at least we can group by letter? I know. Everyone is anxious about that floating keyboard icon on the bottom. Well, the technical term is floating ball. Clearly an upgrade than calling something investigation in a system made by a government. And that investigation wording gives an idea for the things to follow, like the Baidu, Sogo and 360 search engines. Although the rest settings looks normal, with an indexing option, two search methods to choose from, and folders to exclude. Speaking of search, there is a cool global search I'm accessing from the icon cause I don't know the shortcut, and yes, we have both biometrics and voice commands too. Meanwhile with enter we don't directly launch the app, but we get additional contacts. Kinda weird, hmm? On personalization options, we can change the background, but also the system style to light or dark, or to a mix that shell can be light and apps dark and the opposite. Accent color is also available, and moreover we can set any font we want, no matter how stupid that could be. Oh, and that blurry sidebars? We can disable the transparency if we want. The file manager has tabs on header bars which is super cute, with filtering, that also highlights the text found, and it supports multiple color tags. I can't tell if it's actually good, slow or fast, without using it every day, but it's pretty basic I would say. And there are not even many native apps, for example OpenKylan uses the default terminal of Mate Desktop. But at least, they say it's the make terminal. Because there is another application, namely Kylin Code, that is actually the Visual Code Studio but rebranded. All these apps come installed as dev packages. No flat packs here, although I guess we could install those, but I wasn't even bothered to try. Finally, one look at the most commonly used shortcuts. Super and up opens a sidebar that hosts the notifications and some quick settings. Super and Q opens the AI assistant that most of you might dislike, but I love such things. Super and S for the global search, an UI that Gnome could actually use, I think. And Super and W for entering on virtual desktop mode that works similar to Windows with hover for switching, so it's not really good. Alright, OpenKylan might be a BS right now, but it's always super positive when governances are pushing to Linux and open source. Bye bye from China, time for workout. Man, I got all the favorite bitches say I'm delicious. I'ma have all you motherfuckers laying in the ditch. I'm a